Club Express, Volunteering Administration. The volunteering function allows a club to post volunteering opportunities for which members and optionally non-members can sign up. These might be for helping out at club events, cleanup or maintenance of the club's facilities, performing periodic or seasonal tasks, or helping in the office. This video goes into detail about how administrators and coordinators configure the system, create volunteering opportunities and time slots, and track attendance. If you're a club administrator who is new to the volunteering functionality, please pause this video and watch the companion video called Volunteering, User Sign-Up and Member History. That video covers volunteering from the user point of view. It demonstrates how members and non-members can view and sign up for volunteering opportunities and how members can manage their sign-ups and view a history of their volunteering and optionally of the hours worked. The video sets the stage for the administration options shown in this tutorial. We are already logged into one of our demo clubs as an administrator, and the volunteering page has been placed on the menu. To manage volunteering, admins and coordinators can either go to the Volunteering Opportunities page and click the Edit icon in the Page Tools widget, or go to the Control Panel, where the link appears on both the People and Club tabs. This is a standard Club Express administration screen. A search panel at the top allows you to filter the list of volunteering opportunities by all dates or by future dates only. You can also filter by category, status, and or name anywhere in the field, and then just click the search button to refresh the grid. For each opportunity, the grid shows the title, category, start date, status, and visibility. The grid also provides icons for each volunteering opportunity, and we'll explore these in detail shortly. Clicking the Configure button displays the following options in a drop down menu. Selecting Configure Locations displays the same locations list as can be found in the event calendar. It allows you to maintain a list of standard locations where events and volunteering take place. Standard locations can be selected when you're defining volunteering opportunities for each slot. You can easily add, edit, or delete locations as needed. Selecting Configure Volunteering Categories displays a standard category administration screen. This list allows you to organize volunteering opportunities into categories. As with locations, you can add, edit, and delete categories. Choose Configure Slot Categories to display its administration screen. This list allows you to organize volunteering slots into categories. For example, the Balloon Club slots for an event opportunity might define the following slot categories, Setup, Registration Desk, or Cleanup Crew. Once again, you can add, edit, or delete categories as needed. The system can send out one volunteer email reminder. Select Configure Email Reminders to customize it. If you need to change the email from the default, click the Edit icon. Use the editor to modify the body text of the email. Note that this is a simplified version of our standard text editor. It only includes those formatting options that most email readers will allow because many advanced HTML and CSS settings are not typically displayed in emails for security reasons. Replaceable tags are available from the drop down list in the top left corner. Select a tag and click the Insert Tag button to add that tag at the cursor position. Tags are replaced with their actual values at runtime. Click Save to save your changes, and if changes were made, a check appears in the Customize column indicating that you have overridden the default email. To restore the default email, click the Delete icon. Select Configure Options to display the Volunteering Defaults page. Select Yes to track hours for each volunteer if you want to record the hours actually worked. This option is for clubs where members must volunteer a fixed number of hours each year to remain in good standing. If yes is selected, an additional field is displayed where you enter the hours per year required. Click the Add Volunteering Opportunity button to create a new volunteering opportunity. Note that this button is disabled until after you have added at least one volunteering category. The Add Edit screen is where you enter all basic information about the opportunity. For this tutorial, instead of adding a new opportunity, 
let's look at the spring fly-in opportunity that's already been created as it already demonstrates all of the options. So in the Volunteering Administration screen, we click on the Edit icon for the spring fly-in. You fill in the opportunity's title and description and select a category from the drop-down list. Start and finish dates are optional. Some volunteering opportunities happen on specific date or across a series of dates. Other opportunities might be open-ended like paint the clubhouse. Specify whether the opportunity is available to members only or also to non-members. If you place the volunteering function on the public side of your website, this option determines whether a specific opportunity will be visible. Note that a similar option is available at the slot level so that some slots may be restricted to members only while others are available to non-members. Specify the mailing list category into which volunteers, both members and non-members, will be saved. This allows you to export their information or send the blast emailing just to volunteers. You can optionally link a volunteering opportunity to an event. If you click Yes, a drop-down field appears showing future events. When you enable this option, users can easily jump between volunteering opportunity and its linked event. If your club or association tracks required hours, an option allows you to make this opportunity eligible to be counted. Visibility can be either everyone or visible to members only. Note that a volunteering opportunity can be visible to members only, but still allow non-members to sign up. You might configure it this way so a person signing up is a member, but he or she can bring friends who are not members. Status is either closed, which means it's not shown on the list, published and not yet open for sign-up, published and open for sign-ups, or the opportunity may be flagged as canceled. Canceled opportunities still appear in the list, but do not accept volunteers. If you cancel an opportunity, you must confirm that all current sign-ups for the opportunity will be deleted. A cancellation email will be sent to everyone who had volunteered for this opportunity. You can specify a contact person, whether his or her email address and phone should be shown, and whether he or she is notified by email whenever someone signs up for a slot. You can also ask the volunteers a question that's unique to this volunteering opportunity. For example, the volunteer's t-shirt size, so you can have one ready for them at the event. And finally, specify the general location for this opportunity. Click the Locations button to display and select from the list of standard locations, or you can enter a completely different location. Note that individual slots can have different locations from the opportunity as a whole. Click Save to save your changes and return to the Volunteering Administration, or Cancel to return without saving. Each volunteering opportunity can have multiple slots, represented by a specific block of time and a specific task being performed. Click the Slots icon to view and edit volunteering slots for an opportunity. The grid shows each slot, including its date, start time, and finish time, its name, status, how many positions are needed, and how many have been filled. To add a slot, click the Add Slot button. Note that this button is grayed out until you have added at least one volunteering slot category. Specify the date, Start time and finish time, number of people required, name, and a brief description. Select a volunteering slot category from the drop down list. Just as opportunities can be grouped into categories, so can individual slots. This allows you to run reports on the different types of tasks for which people have been volunteering across all opportunities. Within an opportunity, individual slots can be available to non members or not. And you can control who can see the slot in the list. It can be either visible to everyone or only to members. The status of a slot can be closed, published and available for signups, full, so no more signups are allowed, or canceled. You can also control who can see who else has signed up, either no one, members only, or everyone. Many clubs find that people are more likely to sign up if they can see who they will be working with, perhaps their friends. Click Save to save your changes and return to the Volunteering Slot Administration screen, or Cancel to return without saving. 
click the Display Sequence button to change the order in which slots are shown. This button is grayed out until more than one slot has been defined. You'll see a standard Club Express Display Sequence dialog. Back on the Slot Administration screen. There are icons in the Maintain column for the various tasks. The Edit icon lets you change the basic information on this volunteering slot. To make a copy of this slot, including all settings, click the Copy icon. Then change anything to reflect the new slot's properties, and the new slot appears in the list. The Volunteers icon lets you view and update the list of people who have signed up for this slot. This grid has exactly the number of rows as people required for the slot. For each person, you'll see their name, phone number, and email address, and whether they are a member. The Edit icon allows you to modify someone's phone and email address. The Delete icon allows you to remove someone if they have canceled out. And for vacant slots, click the Assign Member or Assign Non-Member icons to add a member or non-member to that slot. For Members, you'll see the Member Selector. Click the Select Member link to view the standard Member Selector. Once a member has been selected, his or her phone number and email address will be filled in, but you can change them for this slot. Click the Select Non-Member link to view the standard Non-Member Selector. You can also directly type in someone who's not in the Non-Member database. For a non-member already in the database, the phone number and email address will be filled in, but you can change them for this opportunity. Now let's go back to slot administration. After the volunteering opportunity is complete, click the attendance icon to record who showed up and how long they worked. Check off the names for those who showed up. The specified hours for that slot are filled in, but can be changed if someone left early or stayed late. Click Save to save your changes and return to the Volunteering Slots screen or cancel to return without saving. You can email just the people registered for this slot. Click the icon to display a pop-up window where you can enter text. And you can delete this slot and all of its registrations. This option only appears if no one has signed up for the slot. Now that we've explored the Slot Administration options, let's go back to the Volunteering Administration screen. To make a copy of this opportunity, including all settings and slots, click the Copy icon. Then change anything to reflect the new opportunity's properties and the new item appears in the list. This is useful to repeat the opportunities from a previous event. Make a copy, then change the opportunity and its slot dates. The Reports button displays a list of reports that contain data across all volunteering opportunities. You can specify date ranges to include in the reports. The Reports icon displayed in the Result grid limits the reporting data to a single volunteer opportunity. The Download icon creates a CSV file that contains all of the opportunity, its slots, volunteer, and attendance data. This can be opened in a spreadsheet or a database program. For opportunities that are still open, a Share icon lets you post the opportunity to social networks that you have configured for your organization. Please watch the Club Express Social Networking Setup tutorial for more information about configuring your networks. So now you've seen how to configure volunteering opportunities and time slots. This lets you create opportunities, making it easy for your members and optionally non-members to volunteer for a wide range of tasks and even keep track of who attended and the hours worked. Thanks for watching, and we'll see you in the next video.